so let us look at what is minimization of boolean expressions what is minimization of boolean expressions see uh, when we minimize the boolean expression that means we want to minimize the appearance of number of literals in that boolean expression as well as we want to minimize the number of sum of product terms or product of sum terms in that particular expression for example for example if we have an expression like this a b c complement plus a b complement c plus a b c plus a complement b complement c plus a b complement c complement assume we have this particular boolean expression now this expression can also be minimized how can we minimize it we have already done some of these type of question in the previous cases so let us uh, try to minimize this particular boolean expression take this term and this term you can take ab as common so inside we have c complement plus c plus if you take um assume you are taking this term and this term then you can take b complement c as common so inside we'll be having a plus a complement plus a b complement c complement so this will be ab plus b complement c plus a b complement c complement now if you take these two expressions um assuming if you taking if you are taking these two expression then you can take b complement as common so it will be ab plus b complement c plus a c complement and you can distribute c so it will be ab plus b complement c plus a dot c plus c complement so it will be ab plus b complement into c plus a again if you open this this is ab plus b complement c plus b complement a again if you take these two expressions then you can take a as common so it can be written as b plus b complement plus b complement c so it will be a plus b complement c right now if you take the original expression the expression where we reached we are having this expression and it is actually a plus b complement c and this is the original expression now in this particular expression how many literals are there how many what are the number of literals how many literals are there so how many literals are there every occurrence of a variable is a literal so 1 2 and 3 so there are exactly three literals and how many min terms are there so we can say number of min terms so number of min terms here are two this is the first min term and this is the second min term but if you take the original expression this original expression then in this expression what are the number of literals what are the number of literals every occurrence of a variable is a literal so how many literals are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so there are 15 literals and what are the number of min terms number of min terms so how many number of min terms are there these are 1 2 3 4 5 so there are five min terms okay now when we try to minimize a boolean expression then if you minimize the boolean expression then minimize minimization is done when we want to minimize uh, some kind of cost criteria and that cost criteria may be including a, a, a lot of things see whenever we have this kind of expressions we want to implement this expression using a circuit right and in those circuits we are going to use the logical gates for example we are going to use and gate or gate not gate and all these all these kind of gates now in this expression we are going to require less number of gates but in this expression we are going to require more number of gates to implement this our aim is when we are minimizing our aim is not to change the logical or functional characteristics of this expression that means not to change the expression shown by this uh, this particular expression that uh, or the uh, property shown by this particular expression into this but to minimize uh, uh, these kind of operators or operations okay so we don't want to uh, change the logical value of this particular expression while minimizing okay so this is the main idea behind minimization of any expression so when we want to minimize an expression that means we want to minimize or we want to reduce some kind of cost criteria and that cost criteria may be containing different kinds of 
you know measurements for example here you can say uh, uh, we want, if you want to minimize the cost criteria we should say that there should be minimum number of appearance of liters for example here we have only three liters but here we had 15 liters so uh, the cost criteria can be we want to minimize the minimum number of appearance of liters and then we have we want to have minimum number of liters in sop or pos expression provided that there is no other such expression with the same number of terms and fewer liters for example in this case we don't have any other such expression which is having same number of liters that means three liters and uh, same number of I mean terms right so this can be minimized to this and this is a unique expression right and third one is an expression from which no terms or literal can be deleted without altering its logical value is called as irredundant or irreducible expression that means if you take this particular expression if you take this particular expression this is a plus b complement c now you cannot remove any literal from this you cannot remove any min term from this without changing the logical value of this particular function okay so whenever saying that uh, a, a, an expression is irredundant or irreducible that means for this for the, for example for this particular expression you cannot reduce or there is no redundant variables in this there are no redundant variables in this or you can say there are there are no redundant literals in this there are no returnants literals in this right not variables actually i should say literals so for this particular expression there are no redundant literals in this therefore this particular expression will be called as irredundant expression irredundant expression so why right so what is redundant redundant means there's something extra which is not required which is kind of extra right so uh, an irredundant expression is not necessarily minimal not the minimal expression is always unique there can be more than one minimal expressions for this for example for this particular expression we can have more than one uh, different minimal expressions with the same number of literals for example that, that will be having three literals and same number of min terms there can be more than one irredundant expressions right right so we cannot say that this irredundant expression is always unique right so they can be uh, different irredundant or irreducible expressions okay so now let us see how to minimize a boolean expression sometimes when you combine different uh, terms in a boolean expression for example if for a within a function if there are more than uh, three or four uh, min, uh, boolean variables are there for example let us say if we have a function like this f of a comma b comma c comma d then it is a b c d plus a b complement c plus a b c complement d plus a b c complement d complement plus a complement b c d plus a complement b complement c d and so on so if if in a boolean expression there are more number of this kind of lit, uh, this kinds of variables then this kind of expression becomes very difficult to solve right so they they because if uh, we have four variables then we are going to have at maximum 16 min terms so these expressions become very difficult to solve therefore we introduced one more algebraic procedure to solve uh, more complicated boolean expressions then that procedure is called as k map right so in this k map is basically it is going to provide a systematic method for combining and deriving the minimal expressions for combining and deriving the minimal expressions next a k map is a modified form of truth table in which arrangement of the combination is particularly convenient for minimization right so i'll i'll, I'll tell you each and everything first of all let us read it third is every n variable map consists of two raised power n cells fourth k maps are going to use cyclic code as row and column headings fifth two adjacent cells play a major role in simplification because they can be combined by means of this particular rule let me tell you a very simple example here assume you have two variables the variables are a and b and there is a function f the possible combinations can be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 
and for this part function f it can have values like this 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 now these particular combinations we are going to represent these particular combinations by means of a map for example there are two variables then for these two variables there are two raised to power two different combinations are possible if there are n variables then there are two raised to power n different combinations are possible now i can say like this for these two variables i can make a k map like this this is a and this is b this is denoting 0 this is denoting 1 now a particular cell like this this particular cell is representing 0 0 this is representing 0 1 this is representing 1 0 and this is representing 1 1 for example this particular cell is showing a complement b complement this is showing a complement b this is showing a b complement and this is showing a b this is showing a b okay now if you have a three variable function for example we have these three variables they are a b and c for these three variables how many combinations are possible they are 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay these many combinations are possible okay now for example for these three variables the k map is going to contain eight cells like this this is a k map with eight cells there are total eight cells this is representing a this is representing bc a and bc now in case of k maps we are going to use cyclic codes you will get to know why we are going to use cyclic codes first of all you should know what is a cyclic code you should know what is a cyclic code cyclic code means whenever we are going to have some codes then uh, all the bits will be having at maximum one uh, a change of at maximum one bit that means what I, what I mean to say is if I write 0 0 after 0 0 we can have 0 1 because this maximum a change of only one bit change of only one bit after this we can have 1 1 because at maximum there is a change of only one bit after this we can have one zero because at maximum there's a change of only one bit again if you take this bit and this bit there's a change of only one bit in case of cyclic codes in case of cyclic codes we have a change of at maximum one bits only even if you have a three variable uh, if you have three variables then we can arrange the three variables in such a way that we get a change of at maximum one bit okay so in case of k map uh, we have a change of one bit for example here here also like this is representing 0 0 this is representing 0 1 this is representing 1 1 this is representing 1 0 this is representing 0 and this is representing 1 here also you can see from here to here there's a change of one bit from here to here there's a change of one bit from here to here there's a change of one bit here to here there's a change of one bit here to here there's a change of one bit in case of k maps uh, with two adjacent cells there's a change of at maximum one bit if you take any two cells like for example this cell is noting 0 0 0 this is 0 0 1 this is 0 1 1 this is 0 1 0 this is representing 1 0 0 it is representing 1 0 1 it is representing 1 1 1 it is representing 1 1 0 if you take any two adjacent cells for example if you take these two cells then there's a change of only one bit if you take these two cells there's a change of only one bit if you take these two cells there's a change of only one bit like zero is changed to one if you take these two cells there's a change of one bit if you take these two cells there's a change of one bit if you take any two adjacent cells in row and column there's a change of at maximum one bit there's a change of at maximum one bit right so for example if you take these two cells these two cells you know there's a change of one bit only one bit is changed from here to here but for these two cells what these cells are representing the cell is representing a complement b complement plus this cell is representing a complement b again if you take any two particular cells for example if you take these two cells then this cell is representing a b and this cell is representing plus a b complement plus a B component. So whenever we have one in two particular cells, for example, here in these two cells, 
we have one then we can make a subcube like this for these particular cells and how can we make a subcube to make a subcube you can clearly see here in this expression you can take a as common so it is b plus b complement which is equal to a itself so therefore here if you combine two cells then they can be combined by means of this particular rule by means of this particular rule so this particular rule plays an important role in com combination of variables in a k map for example even if you have a three variable k map then these two particular cells can be combined why they can be combined because they have a change of at a maximum one variable for example if this cell is representing a b complement c complement and this cell is representing a b complement c you can clearly see this a b complement this a b complement the only change is c and c complement so if you combine these two cells combining means if you combine these two cells combining means you can take a b complement as common so this c complement plus c which is equal to a b complement okay so the, the one more way of checking this is uh, if you combining this you are combining these two cells you can see what are the variables which are not changing what are the variables which are not changing that variable will be will remain the same and the variables which are changing they will be eliminated while we are combining the particular cells okay so uh, uh, we can say uh, the two cells plays a ma uh, major role in simplification process and why uh, because they can be combined by this particular rule and these two cells and these two cells are arranged because of the cyclic codes because cyclic codes helps to create a difference of at maximum one variable so whenever we are combining two cells that means you are uh, adding two cells and because they have a change of one variable and um, uh, you can minimize that particular one variable okay so let us look at more details about kmap